thanks for joining me again. I'm really excited because today I'm going to show you how to make a really simple saute um, using banana hearts. And it's a recipe that my mom has given me. Um, originally, she, she sent me this recipe for um, a fish, you know, a milk fish recipe mixed in. But um, I'm making this vegan. And, but you could also just um, add any type of um, ground beef or ground turkey um, or saute fish into this. So anyway, let's get started. Um, I've got some raisins right here. And then of course the Filipino essential cooking for aromatic um, white onions, garlic, and some ginger. So white onions is about um, a quarter of a cup. Uh, I'm sorry, half a cup. And then the ginger is a quarter of a cup. And the onions um, are about six cloves, um, finely chopped. So finely chop all of these ingredients, um, that's the aromatic. And then we've got, of course, the star of the show, banana hearts. And they come in the grocery store in, you know, something that looks like this, but it's actually red. I've actually peeled it already and cooked that, but it's red and it's shaped like this, you know, sharp cone. And what you do is you peel, you know, the, the cones like this. See, I don't know if you could see it, but you peel it, you keep peeling, and then you'll see these tiny little finger-like things right here, so you can see that. And those are the ones that we, you know, pick out like this. And then what you do is you take out the hard part here in the middle um, and pull it out. So I prepared all of these guys um, for that, and I'm not gonna, I'll, I'll cook this up later on. And then after I've prepared them, I've chopped the, you know, skin, um, and I just chop them into like lines, because um, take out the hard part, and then you just chop up the, the skin. So they're like this, you know, the little lines, just like that. So, and uh, put it aside, soak it in water because they do turn um, brown. Um, and then when you're done chopping everything, just boil it. You don't need to put salt. Boil it for about half an hour on medium low heat until it's all soft. And some of that bitter taste, you know, is removed. Um, so that's what I did right here, right there, and we can get started. So I'm really excited about this recipe because, um, it's so yummy. I crave this because it's so yummy. Um, and lately I've been craving it, you know, um, vegan way with no meat in it, and it's still really, really good. Okay, so let's get started. Alrighty, so now we're back. We are going to go ahead and saute our ingredients. Alright, let's put some oil. I put about a good two, a tables, two tablespoons of oil, um, but it's canola oil. You can also use um, coconut oil. Um, so we let that get hot a little bit. it's spread evenly. Okay, and as usual, we are going to do the aromatics. I just dump it all in there. Really no. And we just want to do this though. We're not going to fry it. So let it smell. Beautiful, nice aroma. I just love the smell. And this recipe is so easy. Um, it's basically the garlic, ginger, and onion. You saute. Let that get soft a little bit. Then, 
ramp up the heat a little. We're going to add the banana hearts. So, we about four cups of banana hearts. And the idea to this is you're going to let the seasoning, you know, cover the banana hearts. Because the banana hearts, they're a little bitter, <laughs> you know, for the outer husk. The inside is a little soft and not so bitter, but they're kind of neutral and they have this, um, you know, I don't have to describe it, like this fibery taste to it. So we've got to infuse some aroma and flavor into them, which is why I'm using a lot of aromatics. I want to cover them up in love. Love, love, love that aroma. Alright, we're almost there. There's a little bit left here in this pocket right here. So let's put some of that. Mmm, I wish it will make it because it smells so good. And then here's a little bit more. Now we're going to keep turning this over because we don't want the bottom part to burn. Let's keep mixing. And uh, I do not want to waste, so I grab every single <laughs> one. Alright, mix. Okay. Now remember, the banana hearts are already cooked because we cooked it for about, you know, half an hour to 45 minutes. Depends how much you have. But for this um, four cups of banana hearts that I boiled, it took me about, I would say, 30, 45 minutes. I let it simmer after 30 minutes. This last 15, I let it simmer to soften. And so it's already cooked. You don't need to really cook this for too long. And I did this the night before. This is a great prep thing that you could do the night before. And then you'll have a quick dinner the next day. Because all you got to do is saute it. Okay. Now, we are going to add some pepper. Generous amount. And I don't measure. I just like... Coat. If you see me with my lumpia, I just coat each side and then flip this over, other side, this is how I season, over the other side, because the other side didn't get any seasoning, so I'm flipping it over the other side, flipping it over the other side, just keep flipping. Okay, so now we flipped it. Season the other side. Cover with pepper, salt, just once around. That is all you need. Okay, oh my gosh, it smells so good. Oh, I love the smell of that ginger. Oh, it's just so lovely. Okay. All right. And then the last in ingredient that we're gonna cook is the raisins. Same thing with the raisins. So this is four cups of banana hearts, and I did um, two cups of raisins because the. The banana hearts needs that flavoring and that sweetness. And now if you don't want to put too much raisins, you could do one cup of raisins and one banana, like a large banana, cut into cubes. Not super ripe, just, you know, ripe. And then it adds the flavor, kind of reinforces, you know, banana heart. But I don't have any 
bananas on me. It's all gone. We all ate it. So um, I'm making up for that sweetness with uh, raisins, which is why I'm putting two cups of raisins. Again, if you don't want the raisins, just one cup of raisins, one banana, one to two bananas, depends if you want it a little sweeter. Okay, so we're just going to cook this up until the raisins are plump. And then we get to eat. All right, so here we are. We've waited for it to cook. And now that it's soft, all the flavors have, um, you know, basically mixed together. Let's taste test it. Mmm, that is so good. I'm so excited. I hope you guys are excited too. So, all right. I'm going to plate this now. Just pour it out. This is heavy. Heavy, heavy. I hope you can see this. make a lot because I don't want to run out when the kids want more. Oh, excuse me. Okay. Here. So here is the dish. All right. some green onions just to liven it up and you know reinforce the taste that's in there all around oh boy I can't wait to eat this and I'm really glad that you joined me you know um, I like sharing my recipes with you I should say my mom's recipes that I tweaked a little, so, um, so here it is. Do you see that? It is so delicious. Banana, sauteed banana hearts with raisins and garlic, onions, ginger, um, for dinner. Anyway, thanks so much. Um, I hope you enjoy it. Let me know how it tastes like for you guys and like and subscribe. Thank you. Thanks again. Bye.